The nitrogen cycle is probably the most difficult chemical cycle to understand because there are just so many different forms of nitrogen and there are a lot of processes you need to remember that convert nitrogen from form to form. Let's just take it a step at a time. We start with the atmosphere, which consists of 80% nitrogen gas. So it is the main reservoir for nitrogen in the form of N2. Nitrogen enters the um, ecosystem through a type of bacteria called nitrogen-fixing bacteria, which can be found in one of two places. So the first place it can be found is in particular types of plant roots, and these bacteria allow these plants to directly utilize nitrogen as a nutrient for growth. The second place nitrogen-fixing bacteria can be found is in the soil, and these nitrogen-fixing bacteria perform a process called ammonification, which turns N2 into NH4+, otherwise known as ammonium. So once N2 is converted into NH4+, a different type of bacteria kicks in, and this bacteria is called nitrifying bacteria, and this turns NH4 plus into NO2 minus, otherwise known as nitrites. This process of conversion is called nitrification. So to get yourself straight between nitrifying bacteria and nitrogen fixing bacteria, think about how nitrogen fixing bacteria sounds similar to carbon fixing bacteria, carbon dioxide fixing bacteria. So we talked a little bit about this briefly in the carbon video. And what carbon fixation is, is when plants um, perform photosynthesis, they take CO2 gas and fixate it into another form of carbon that's a solid. So for example, glucose. And nitrogen fixation is pretty much the same thing. It's taking nitrogen in the form of gas and converting it into a solid. So it's turning nitrogen gas into ammonium. So if you remember, fixate means turning gas into solid. You should be able to set yourself straight between nitrogen fixing and nitrifying bacteria. Okay, here is where it gets even more crazy because once ammonium turns into nitrite, more nitrifying bacteria turns nitrite into nitrates. Holy guacamole! What is the difference between nitrites and nitrates and how on earth do you remember the difference? So first of all, don't panic and let's look at the chemical conversion. Nitrites, NO2- minus, are converted into nitrates, NO3-. minus. So here's a really silly trick that might help you remember the difference. Nitrites have two different types of vowels, I's and an E. And so in its chemical formula, it has a two. Nitrates has three different vowels, an I, an A, and an E. So nitrates have a three in their chemical formula. This actually works for ammonium too if you're having a problem remembering the chemical formula for ammonium. Ammonium has four different vowels, A, O, I, and U. And so it has a four in its chemical formula. And then if you need to remember the order of nitrites and nitrates, remember two always comes before three. So nitrites always come before nitrates. Okay, now that we sort of have that settled, we can move on to the next part of the nitrogen cycle. So after nitrogen is converted into nitrates, there are two possibilities. And one is assimilation. And this is when nitrates end up being absorbed into plant roots and used in plants for their nutrients. And in this part of the cycle, after assimilation, the plants are, can then be eaten by different animals. Um, so the nitrogen is passed to these animals. And both the plants and the animals, when they decompose, um, can add nitrogen back into the soil. And then decomposers such as bacteria and fungi will convert this nitrogen content back into ammonium and it restarts the cycle from ammonium. The second path it, the nitrogen cycle can take after nitrates 
is um, back to the atmosphere. So this, in this case, you need denitrifying bacteria. You can think D is kind of like undoing what we did in the nitrogen cycle so far. So it's kind of like reversing the process. And it finishes up the cycle by uh, taking nitrates, NO3 minus, and converting it back into nitrogen gas. So this completes the nitrogen cycle. A really quick summary, nitrogen goes from N2 through nitrogen fixing bacteria into NH4 plus, through nitrifying bacteria into NO2 minus, again through nitrifying bacteria into NO3 minus, and then back through denitrifying bacteria into N2.